In this video, we're going to learn how to create a one-dimensional array in MATLAB. So suppose we want to enter the depth at breast height and trees per acre data into MATLAB. So we can create a one-dimensional array with the depth at breast height data, and then we can create another one-dimensional array with the trees per acre data. So let's start with the depth at breast height data. We want to create a one-dimensional array, and we're going to call it dbh to stand for depth at breast height. So we're going to say that dbh is equal to, and then we're going to use a left square bracket, sometimes also called an open square bracket, and then we'll start to list the data points separated by spaces. So we'll have 22.9, that's the first data point, and then a space. We'll have 30.0 in a space, 30.3 in a space, 27.8, space, 24 24.1, 28.2, 26.4, 12.8, 39.7, and 38.0. All right, so each data point is separated with a space, and at the end, I put a right square bracket or a close square bracket. And when I press Enter, I see the data here. Now, notice that the command window is not wide enough to list all of the data points out in one row. So first, it shows me columns 1 through 8 and then it shows me columns 9 and 10. So it shows me the first eight data points and then it shows me the last two on the next line. Now if we look over in the workspace, here I have my variable named dbh, but look at the value. The value is now this list of data points. And let's see if I scoot this out just a little bit more, we can also see the minimum data point value and the maximum data point value. And scoot this back for a second. If we double click on dbh, it opens a variable editor, which I'm going to scoot over to share with the command window. So the variable editor looks like a spreadsheet, but the ver it, when we're inside the variable editor, we can edit the values that we have entered into our array. So let's say I had messed up on entering in one of the values and 30.3 should not be 30.3 but it should be 30.1 well I could double click on the entry all of a sudden a lot of zeros appear I can delete what is incorrect and put in a 1 and press enter and now I've changed the value so let me go back change it to what it should be back to 30.3. All right, so I'm going to click back over here to the command window. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create an array for the trees per acre, the number of trees per acre. So I'm going to call that TPA, put an equal sign and some square brackets. Now I'm feeling kind of lazy and I don't want to type in all of the data. So instead I'm going to copy and paste. So it just so happens that I have the PDF of the Bodine, Lenhart, and Gross Math for Life Science textbook open, which is where this data comes from. So I'm just going to copy this row of data. So I'm going to get my text select tool. I'm going to highlight the data that I want, right click, copy, or control C to copy, and then I'll come back over here, and if I right click, I can paste it in, or I can press control V. All right, so notice this actually inserts a couple of spaces between each data point, but that's okay, as long as there's at least one space between each data point, uh, it, it will work out. Okay, so now I'm going to press enter, and once again we see that the first eight columns of data are displayed first, and then columns 9 and 10 of the data. So if we look over at the workspace, 
again now I see that I have another variable and again I can open up this variable and look at it in the variable editor and I can change any values that I need to if I entered in something wrong but we actually don't have to go through the variable editor if we want to make a change there's another way so if I come back over to the command window let's say I had messed up entering something in the trees per acre data what I can do instead is I can scroll up so I'm gonna press the up arrow key and that brings up the very last command that I entered in and then I can either use the cursor or use the mouse to move the cursor and I can highlight a value and change it or uh, since the cursor is at the end I can use the left and right arrow keys to move the cursor around so let's change the 18.0 to 18.1 so I just deleted the 0 put in a 1 and then I'll move the cursor down to the end and I'll press enter and now I see that I've changed that data point to 18.1 all right, so to recap, you should now know how to enter a one-dimensional array of data into MATLAB, how to view that data in the variable editor window, and how to edit any particular value within an array, either through the variable editor window or through the command window.